All right, first graders, it is time to paint the last part of our pictures. We are going to paint the water. And when we're painting the water, we want to have a little bit of texture to make it look like the water's moving a little bit, kind of like we drew those lines in the sky. We're going to do a similar, similar technique um, to make our water. So today we're going to use this kind of watercolor paint, the kind in the containers like this. And we're going to dip our brushes in it. And again, we're just going to touch it to the side to get some extra off. And then you're going to use just the tip of your brush and you're going to draw lines that go sideways to show the direction that the water goes. Draw lines that go sideways to show the direction that the water goes. And I'm drawing these lines. It's a pretty calm day on this one because this is our calm wind day. So I'm just drawing my lines pretty much just sideways. And you can see I'm leaving little spaces where you can still see the white, but I'm going to go back in and I'm going to fill that in afterwards. So I drew all that water and then I can dip my brush in and tap it on the side a little and then I can go back in and cover up those spaces where I had some white showing. After you do that first time over to make the waves, you can go back in and you can cover it up and you can see the spots that you already painted are darker than the other spots in your, in your painting. So I'm just going to keep going and adding that blue right over top. so that I don't have any of those white spots showing. And you can see it looks kind of like water. It has different texture to make the water sh show up. Like little, almost like tiny little waves. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this next one, and this is our light breeze day. So again, the waves aren't going to really be that big. We're going to kind of do our lines sideways. Notice I'm just using the very end of my brush, just the tip of the brush. And I'm filling in those lines. They're going sideways. I'm filling in those lines to make our waves. And I'm leaving a little white in between, but I'm going to go back and fill those in afterwards. So I have all my lines in there. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go back over top and fill in all those white spots. I'm going to keep dipping that brush in the paint to get paint on there and fill in those white spots. So I can see the different types of waves I have. And then I can move on to my next one. And this one is a little more wavy, so I can actually make wave shapes with my paint. So I'm going to use just the end of my brush, just the tip part, and I'm going to start making kind of wave shapes. Kind of like we did in the sky. And make however you think it should look for the waves on a strong wind day. So I'm making kind of hook shapes for mine. And I'm being careful, I'm just painting the water spots. I'm giving it a little bit more of a wavy texture to show those waves in, the, in that water. And I'm being careful, I'm not going down into the sand at all. I'm using just the tip of the brush and doing a wavy texture. And then I can go back over it like I did in the other one to fill in the white spots. Fill in those white spots. Oh, I need to be extra careful because I'm right by the edge where the sand is. I don't want to get blue in the sand. using just the edge of my brush, being very careful to use just the little end of my brush to make sure that I'm putting the watercolor exactly where I want it and not in the sand, not in the sky. And I'm filling that in. And then I could do my last section where I'm going to have the gale force winds, and those are those huge waves we drew before. 
So I'm going to make even bigger waves. Again, I'm going to draw them in first. It's all going to stay right in the water though. I'm not going into the sand at all. I'm not going into the sky. I'm just drawing my waves in the water section. I'm drawing them in there and then once I have those waves in, I can go in and fill in all those white spots. So I have that nice water all filled in. Oops, I need to be careful. I went too fast. I need to slow down. I don't want to get paint in my sand. I'm going to take my time and make sure I'm staying right on the right spots. Very carefully painting that so it doesn't get into my into my sand. You can see it's easy to accidentally go over the edge of that line. We want to keep it all in the water spot. So you need to make sure you're paying really close attention to what you're doing. Focusing on your artwork. Paint it all in. So you have a beautiful painting of gale force, strong winds, a nice breeze and a calm day. Great job, first graders.